needs. It's, it, it's really demanding. And now we have those global factories, okay, that try to sell. So, so they're, doing, they're very, doing very good on the cars here, okay? But they do on the car in the southeast of the U.S. for people who are going to buy them all across North America. That's a lot of travel, okay? Is that the official right way in the next decades? Not sure, okay? That's part of the picture. A lot of unnecessary travel that is involved. <coughs> so many products are never sold, never used. This example I like comes from the UK. This is an, uh, an airport that is disaffected, and it's full of cars. It's full of new cars that are rusting. Completely full. Which were manufactured using lean techniques. Which were manufactured using lean techniques. I agree with you. Okay? So this is really amazing when you think about it. Okay? That's in, and we don't talk about food or clothing. Okay? It, it's all across the world. Okay? Now, and if I want to take the hum most human humanitarian type of style, a vision, products do not reach those who need them the most. We see it in crisis, okay, and we see it in the, in developing countries, okay. So they have a huge a lot of trouble getting in. <coughs> Pro products this unnecessarily move crisscrossing the world. I was in Finland. I was in, at a dinner, and I was eating supposedly fresh Norwegian salmon. I say supposedly fresh because that fish was caught okay, in Norway, then shipped to China to be packed, and then brought back to Finland to be eaten. Now, that's the Chinese syndrome, okay? So we can say that's good, that's bad, but that's a fact. We crisscross quite a lot, okay? And right now it's more economical for them to do that, okay? But think about it, okay? And now even uh, there are cases where you've got something produced in the south of France, it's going to go to Italy, go through Germany, and somehow get back to Paris, okay? Think about it, same country, okay? So there are a bunch of things like that all across the world with our oven spoke and our major roadways and all kind of things like that. Well, that's some, sometimes people don't like me when I say this one, okay? Fast and reliable <coughs> multimodal transport is a dream or a joke, okay? Especially those that work in the domain. I'm not telling that those don't do their best, okay? I'm just telling real reality is that it's very limited, okay? And when it exists, it's costly, it's restricting, Okay, the interfaces are badly done, synchronization is, is tough, so that in most cases, it's not working like it should be working. Okay, in there. Getting products in, through, and out of cities is a nightmare. Okay? Most cities are not designed nor equipped for easing uh, freight transportation, handling, and storage. Okay? And the bigger they are, the older they are, the worse it is. Okay? So making the feeding of the businesses and the users in such cities a nightmare. Okay? Mexico City. We don't have Mexican here. Oh, yeah, Alejandro's from yeah, okay. so, Mexico City, actually. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> every night, they have over 20 million people to feed. Okay? Just getting what's needed to feed the people every day is huge traffic jam all night long. Everything's jammed, okay, in there. It's huge constraint. That's just one example out of thousands of them. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Our networks are neither sec secure nor robust, okay? We have concentrated production and distribution in very centralized sectors, global factory, global DC in Europe, global DC in North America, one or two or three maximum uh, around here, okay? So what happens if 
we just circle one and, and close it, okay? Or fire, whatever it is, okay? They're in big trouble. We do the same with the road system, with the train system. We, we have up and spoke with some lines that are very heavily trafficked, and when it jams, they're kaput, okay? So we're, we're in big trouble. So, and, and also for, for burst of, of demands, okay? We are having a lot of trouble to, as long as it's smooth, Okay? It's not, nice. it's like Kanban systems. As long as it's smooth, it's fine. The world is not smooth, okay? So it's going like that, okay? So the more you see peaks and valleys, the more our systems are having trouble now. <coughs> Smart automation and technology are hard to justify. Why so? Well, the vehicles, the handling systems, the operational facilities, they have to deal with so many types of materials, shapes, and unit loads with each player independently and locally deciding on his piece of the pie. Okay? So this makes it very hard to justify smart connected technologies. Walmart has been trying, okay? And it just it's hard to get the movement going. Okay? Same with systematic handling, transportation automation, smart collaborative piloting software, all kind of stuff like that. It's tough. Within a company it's tough. Across companies it's even worse to do. And overall, we have innovation that's strangled. Okay, you look, I've been monitoring the evolution of innovation in, in the handling logistic fields, okay? And gosh, you see, you see nice innovation once in a while. Here's a spark, here's a little gem. But most of it is very Epsilon-like okay, type of innovation, just a fraction of improvement every time, okay, or what's, what's happening. So it's very tough to, uh, to go for breakthrough innovation. So I've painted, I think, a pretty dark picture, okay? But at the same time, I think a pretty realistic picture of what's happening. The notion is that all this is happening together, okay? And everybody tries his best, but he's taking just a chunk of the picture and sees one part of it, while there's an overall big problem that has to be solved. So in most of the uh, symptoms that I've mentioned, okay, have economical, environmental, and social uh, implications. Okay, this said, let's switch to uh, what is the goal. So environmental goal, sustainably reduce by an order of magnitude the logistics induced global greenhouse gas emission, energy consumption, and pollution. Economic goal, sustainably reduced by an order of magnitude the global economic burden of logistics